Good evening, everyone. This is Graybeard. I thought I would share my in-scale coffee table I've been working on. It's been coming a long way, and I have a lot more work to do. There's the train station right there. Of course, I got the fire station, post office, a little hospital, a little apartments right there, trucking company, and then also I have the train silo and everything where it'd be probably the coal plant I'm thinking about making it. And of course, in the middle, I got the gas station. Of course, someone got pulled over by the cops. But yeah, it's been coming a long ways. It's a lot of work. Especially with it being on the ground. I need to get some saw horses. And raise it up. Make it a lot easier to work on. This way I can finish the top. I'm going to put a, a glass top on. And glass panels around the side. Keep little fingers out of it. Then also, you know, I do collect trains. I have, like right there, I got all my patches, pins and stuff I collect. And of course, I have a whole bookshelf right there. Full of trains, HO trains right there. And especially, I got a Chesapeake. Still in the box. And of course, I have G scale line L. I even originally I have a pair of original railroad Union Pacific gloves. And I don't know if you ever seen anything like this. Not easy to get to because I have so much stuff. I even have my own Burlington Northern Santa Fe water. I got a couple bottles of that. I, uh, a couple, uh, engineers that I don't know that uh, comes in where I work. Every now and then they give me stuff, but I do have a lot of railroad stuff. Ornaments, trains, you name it. And especially I've been, this one I like. This is my trolley here. It's a G-scale trolley. And it used to be a wind-up wooden music box. I took the music box out and put regular power trucks underneath. Man, this thing scoots. Of course, you know, I like trolleys. I got some there. And I got more over here. And then, especially all the way down is a G scale. And, of course, all the way up. I got HO, G scale right there too. And I got this little guy right here. And of course, right behind this vehicle right here, I have the Back to the Future train that I made with decals and everything. And behind it is the other one I made of the movie Unstoppable. That is really pretty cool. It took me some time to do, but it was really fun. And then, of course, I have a big G scale Union Pacific locomotive in behind. But also, I know it's hard to see, but I also have a 3D printed head on a guy of myself. There's a company that does that. And is there a way to there we go. Shed some light on the subject. And you can see it. I thought it was pretty cool. Make it realistic.
Man, I got all these cars. And of course, you know, got to have a little vest. And me, I have the original, you know, Union Pacific hat. And of course, everything over here, nothing but trains in the corner. Train puzzles I collect. But this is all train related stuff. Of course, you know, got to have a projector on the wall to watch train movies, videos, YouTube. That's how I do everything. But yeah, here's my layout again. Took some time on everything. Got a little boat. And of course, on this building right here, I weathered it with oil pastels and chalk and everything. And then I still got to weather all this and finish that building. And do a lot more weathering and lights. And I have the telephone poles. Still want to run the wires to that. Make it more realistic. But I thought I'd share that with you today. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. And please, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. And always, if you get bored, you can check out Little Hustler. He's also on YouTube. He's one of my good friends. And I really enjoy anything railroad related, as you can see. It's one of my biggest hobbies. Well, thanks for watching. You have a wonderful day. Thank you.